Welcome to the Nostalgia Test Podcast, the show where two longtime friends put their mainstream pop culture past to the ultimate test, the Nostalgia Test. All right, welcome everyone to another episode of the Nostalgia Test Podcast. I'm Dan Dissinger here in LA, and here are my longtime friend and co-host, Manny Coelho, there in New York. Manny, how are you feeling right now? Ah, uh, man, I can't wait. I cannot wait. This one, uh, even though uh, back in episode, I forget now, I should have known this for everybody who hasn't heard the episode to go back. Um, I said no more food episodes. Yet somehow, some way, Dan has talked me into doing another food episode. Episode 14, potato chips. That's the last food episode. You should go okay. back and check it out. So this one we're doing, ladies and gentlemen, cereals. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kellogg's cereals, yeah. to be specific. That's right. Now, yep. if you guys are just joining us for the first time at the Nostalgia Test Podcast, Dan and I are longtime friends who put our pop culture past to the test, the Nostalgia Test. So basically what we do is we test anything from music, videos, even food, chips, candy, and of course now cereal, and we put it to the test. We would see what tell you whether we believe that it, it stays nostalgic or does it pass the test and continue to make us feel enjoyment today. And I guess this is what we're doing today. Even though I said no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the enjoyment part is the most important part of how it passes, and I think with the food episodes. With the food episodes, that's always the the part that's the most important to deal with. Is it going to be good? But, you know, if you have opinions on the things that we're testing or, you know, different ideas or if we mess something up, definitely follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Nostalgia Test and on Twitter at Nostalgia Test and let us know. We'd love to hear your opinions and keep the conversation going. Visit the website, the nostalgiatest.com, to sign up for our email list and to suggest a test. And also to go back to other videos because we put some awesome links in some of those show notes to like some of the IG lives we've been doing as well. And if you just want to go old school and just message us, you can get in touch with us at the nostalgiatest at gmail.com. Manny. I've if you want to go real old school, our address is blah, 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 <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Put a stamp on it. Put a all stamp right. on it. I've been so, freaking out about this episode. <laughs> all right. So um, what I'm, try- I'm going to try to stay away from is the candy episode one where we just basically were like, yeah. it's sugar. Yeah. Because we know what these cereals are. Yeah. Okay. They're geared towards kids. So, yes, it's going to be high in sugar. Yeah. So we're going to give you a couple of facts, of course. Yeah. Dan's going to go into the history what we feel about it. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah. So again, the, this is yeah. the fun pack, the Kellogg's fun pack. Yeah. And we got some great cereals here from my past and from your past, but I, I never eat anymore ever again. So but. it comes with eight. It comes with eight of them, but a couple of them are rep- repetitive. Yeah. So um, really, it comes with five. So basically, they give you, and then, I don't know why they chose the other two as like the repetitive ones. Like, I don't know. Who's to say? You know what likes what? Okay, so, so we're going with Toucan Sam. Yes. Fruit Loops first. Fruit of course, Loops. I remember Toucan Sam. Best commercials ever. Fruit mm-hmm. Loops. Now, I'm going to say I remember Fruit Loops was enjoyed by both wet. I mean, wet. That's weird to say. I, I enjoyed Fruit Loops <laughs> with milk and without milk. Do you enjoy yeah. cereal without milk? Long standing debate on whether we should have milk. Like, Milk with cereal, not that like it's better with or without milk. I don't think it's cereal until you put milk in it. Okay. It doesn't make sense to me that like you're calling something cereal um, and there's no milk. That's what makes it cereal. If it's without milk, then I just feel like it's a snack. It's like you might as well make it's like little cookies at that point. It's not, it's not cereal. You eat cereal with a spoon. That's what makes it cereal. <sighs> I don't know if I agree with you. Uh, I understand what you mean, and I definitely. First of all, I love cereal, and I love, you know, milk in the cereal. Do I enjoy dry cereal? Yes, I do agree that then it's a it's a snack. It's a sugary snack that you're just eating by hand, and that's fine. You can enjoy it that way, but then it's really not cereal. It's just like 
a breakfast snack. Breakfast Dude. chips. It's like chips. I... <laughs> All right. I just... It would it would fit in a candy episode. Yeah. If you're doing it that way. I just... Tell me when you opened it, you didn't get the whiff of Dude. fruit loop flavor. Wow. Whatever I that have is. Not Whatever felt that in like years. I'm like Tell me that didn't bring you back to Wow. The smell and the taste of Fruit Loops in it's that milk, so like after colorful. Yeah. Oh my god. Like what you used to let let the uh so let me ask you this. Do you like soggy cereal or do you like like when it's still crunchy? I like a little crunch. I need some texture to my cereal. Um there is a cereal in here. Um I believe the Apple Jacks, right? That's a cereal that could take a lot of milk. And then it got better, but it didn't get soggy. It could sit in the milk for a very long time, which also freaks me out thinking like, why is it still crunchy? You uh, know what I, re I remember that I like, I do agree that I like, like a little bit of crunchiness, but I loved Fruity Pebbles when it got so soggy and you used to like just put it to the side and grab it and it's like the whole th <laughs> spoonful of Fruity Pebbles and you're just eating this like crap sugar ball of amazingness. Dude, <laughs> I, I, I was not a Fruity Pebbles fan, but now that really? I, why did I not like Fruity Pebbles if I was eating Fruit Loops? Dude, Fruit Loops is great. I love Fruit Loops. I just had two of the loops. Uh, Did dry, you? And okay. They just, they just as soon as I chewed it, it like disappeared into my mouth. Mm -hmm. There's also now this weird film in my mouth. Of course there is. It's called sugar. And I have an instant headache. So yeah, <laughs> I'm glad I have coconut milk today uh, because I don't drink dairy anymore. So coconut milk is for me. And you want coconut? That's going to change the taste a little bit. It is, but you know what? It's also going to make sure I don't get a major headache. Um, I'm not filling the whole bowl up because I don't want to eat this whole thing. <laughs> so I forgot to get milk. Yeah. So I'm going with what's in the fridge. Yeah. And that's almond milk. Okay. So we're not going nostalgic at all. We're going to, we're, br we're bringing our, uh, our, uh, uh, our older selves in this. Yeah. I don't think I even knew what almond milk was. At the age I don't that think I had they this. had almond milk when we were kids. No, right, here we go. Uh, Fruit Loops, everybody. All right, enjoy our chewing. Instantly takes me back to skiing trips with my my dad. I mean, the true the true cereal that takes me back to skiing trip is co uh, Cocoa Puffs. But we're not we're not doing General Mills. We're doing Kellogg's. But fruity, Fruit Loops was definitely on my top um, list of cereals that I got. Biting into that, I'm about to go watch Saturday morning cartoons. That's what I'm doing with this. This is, I don't know, it doesn't taste like any fruit that I know of, but it's fruity. I'm just going to say it's fruity. It does not taste like fruit. Um it's also every one of these loops tastes the same. So I don't know why they're different colors, but wow. I, it's so weird to like a cereal does what you just did. Like Saturday morning cartoons. As soon as I ate it, I felt like every Saturday morning cartoon song just entered my brain immediately. It was just like, wow. And I was just like, I was sitting up eight in the morning trying to watch Saturday morning cartoons and eating bowls of cereal. But I can also taste the sugar doing a number on me. Like with like kind of like the candy bar where it makes you thirsty, but like you're just kind of like salivating, another great word to say on a podcast. Um, but wow. It is so sweet, though. It's so crazy that we would eat these, eat this as kids, like for breakfast. Like people let us eat this for breakfast. Our parents thought this was a good idea to buy for breakfast. I'm Dude, on the bottom of the spoon, you could, you could feel this sugar just hanging oh onto it. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> so, do you have um, facts? You know, I was waiting for it. Yeah. Well, first of all. <laughs> It says sweetened multigrain cereal. Yeah, no shit. And then it says natural fruit flavors. What natural fruit flavor are yeah. you getting? I like. There's never been a time that I bite into a fruit and I'm like, this tastes like Fruit Loops. Yeah, because when you look at the ingredients, it's just like 
corn flour blend, wheat grain, yellow corn flour, degerminated yellow corn flour, sugar, wheat flour, whole grain, oat flour, modified food starch contains 2% or less of vegetable oil. We haven't gotten to any fruit yet. Hydrogenated coconut, soybean, and or cotton seed. And or? I don't like to see and or in my ingredients. There are no fruits. And then everything yeah. else is just chemistry. <clears throat> I just finished the whole box. <laughs> <laughs> so Fruit Loops is a brand of sweet and fruit flavored breakfast cereal produced by Kellogg's and sold in many countries. The cereal pieces are ring shaped, hence loops, and come in a variety of bright colors and a blend of fruit flavors. There is no blend. Uh, hence fruit. And I totally forgot to say that the word fruit on the Fruit Loops, which I didn't notice until now, which I guess is my adult eyes, is F R O O T fruit. It's probably how I would spell it. <laughs> <laughs> However, there is no actual fruit in Fruit Loops, and they are all no the shit. flavor. Um, originally, they were only red, orange, and yellow loops, but green and blue and purple were added during the 1990s. The mascot, Toucan Sam, has been the mascot of Fruit Loops since its first appearance. Fucking love him. Uh, Toucan Sam is a blue anthropomorphic <laughs> toucan. The colors of his bill correspond to the three original Fruit Loop flavors. So there we go. Listen, I, I'm going to say the best part of like having cereals like this is like, so did you, do you drink the full milk like when you were a kid? Like, of course. Were you the type of the guy who would like eat the whole thing and then slurp up? whatever sugary milk uh, amazingness was left. Yeah. Cause I know some right people now. who don't. Why? Okay. What, what do they do with it? Some people just don't like milk. So like uh, yeah, shout, right. out, shout out to Dave. He didn't like finishing his milk, right. which I was, I thought was insane when I first right. saw it. I was like, wait, like you just eat cereal and then that's that. But he's, he's another person who also eats dry cereal. Yeah. Uh, Cause I think he just doesn't like dairy. Um, yeah. So Guys, uh, for those who are listening, Dave is one of our longtime friends. Also, we, yeah. uh, Dan and I knew from growing up in uh, Minnie High School yeah. um, in Long Island. So um, we had a little tangent right there. So and that's the nostalgia test tangent. Yeah, if you like our tangents, you'll love all the stuff that we put on Instagram. I mean, because they're like tangents themselves. So definitely follow us on at the nostalgia test on Instagram. It's like we have some good stuff up there. Like, review, subscribe, and share. Yeah. Please, yeah. guys. That's the only way we kept, keep going. Everybody finds out about us. If you like us, please yeah. review us. A good, give us a good review. Five-star review. Yeah. Pass it along. Share our uh, tangents. Dude. It's at its perfect Fruit Loops. to see right now, though, for me. It's crunchy, what? but not too crunchy to Fruit Loops. Like, That's great. It's it soaked up the milk, and I like it on this consistency now. This is, um, yes, it's going to be sugary. I knew that. We're not eating regular Cheerios. We're not eating, you know, uh, not Raisin Bran even, uh, you know, K for, you know, Kellogg's Flakes or whatever. You know, with the ones where it was just so healthy, it had nothing in it. Like, you didn't want that. That was an adult cereal. This is the kid cereal. It's geared towards kids. It's colorful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just take it for what it's worth, okay? This yeah. was not healthy. It was just get the kids to eat something in the morning. Yeah, gets the kids to eat some garbage. Um, it's really weird. Um, but, whew, I mean, I only ate like maybe a quarter of that box. Yeah. And I don't think I could eat big a big bo- – I love cereal, and but I don't think I can eat more than that. Um, no. I mean, I'll tell you which one – what cereal later. Oh, it was my favorite cereal of all time. But yeah. this – it's definitely a big bowl. Sit down, watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yes. Darkwing Duck, Tailspin, yes. Yes. Transformers. Just like in some of our old, uh, past episodes that where we review cartoons, that, those are the cartoons we're watching while we're eating fruit yeah. loops. Yeah, go to episode nineteen of the podcast and you'll see the types of like cartoons we're watching while we're eating a bowl of fruit loops. Uh, yes. But- I have to say that this is just nostalgic. I don't see myself ever eating this again. I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's necessarily. I, I, I don't. It's already repeating on me. I don't think I would enjoy this normally. I wouldn't buy this. No, it's like, nostalgic. Uh, is it good for kids to eat now? I understand why it's still in the market. 
Um, yeah. So does it pass the test? I guess I like not for me, but I guess it's still standing the test of time for younger people. But yeah, I, it's no. it's definitely just nostalgic for me. It yeah. makes me think about all the different times that I've had cereal yeah. with people. I feel like so. it's, it's already giving me like a stuffy nose for some reason as well. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've been eating like crap all week, so oh, I'm starting to get used to it. Like, if you've been healthy, healthy, this is this is goes back to like the candy episode where like we oh. we were high and drunk for an hour and then like came crashing down. Yeah. D- okay. I mean, that was a bullshit. Wait, just like a qu- quick, uh, quick. This is a small box, by the way, listeners. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the total grams of sugar is eight grams. But is there added sugar? Because there's two, there's no, includes eight grams ad- added. Total sugar is eight grams, includes eight grams added sugar. So 16%. 16% of this box is sugar. <laughs> and it's like, the largest thing. There's nothing else in this fucking No, the thing. other oh. percentage is. There's 3.1 milligrams of iron. Oh. So they do try to make this a little bit healthy. Cool. <laughs> With iron. All right. That's the answer. argument. The argument is iron. Yeah. Uh, All right. So moving on. What's the next one? The next one is Kellogg's Corn Pops. Kellogg's Corn Pops. Okay. This is one of my sister's favorite. I remember growing up. So... <laughs> This cereal confused me as a child. I did not like this cereal. I thought I would like it, and then I'm like, I don't like... Do you remember the Batman cereal? No. No? Oh, okay, so Batman... There was a Batman cereal, everyone, from uh, when Batman first came out, the, the Michael Keaton Batman from 1989, I guess, or whatever. But it was literally like corn pops. It was just yellow bat signals. And I think it was made of the same stuff that they made the plain Captain Crunch from. So it wasn't good. <laughs> it wasn't good. Um, and I remember eating it, though, and having having a bat, Batman cereal uh, when it was out for a little bit. But Corn Pops is a weird cereal to me because I didn't know if I liked it or not when I was a kid. I feel like I ate it a lot. I feel like it was always around. And I don't know why. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to say, I did not like this as a kid. Like I said before, my sister, this is her favorite, one of her favorites. I do recall that reminded me a little bit of like popcorn that you wet. So it was gross a little bit to me. Um, so I'm not sure if I want to bite down too much of this, but just before we go on to that, have you ever on the small to goes just poured the milk directly into this plastic bag and not had a bowl? Because you could literally just do that and just like drink the, the cereal. Like I used to do that. Yeah. Like eat right out of the box. There was a way I think that like when I was a kid that on the back of the boxes, there was like a way that you cut it. So that when you went camping or something, you cut through the box and through the thing, and then you pour it and you eat it out of the plastic in the box. Uh, Manny is housing this box. This is bullshit. But I never really poured it right in. I think opening from this way, but I, I think I don't think they do that anymore. This this doesn't smell. This doesn't like smell like anything. Smell right. This doesn't like, smell like anything. Doesn't doesn't even it smell like what it tastes. It's not even, there's like no smell to it. Um, um, and it doesn't look right. It looks like, um, so this like has fried two more grams. Yeah. It has two more grams of sugar. 20% of it is sugar. So this is more already more sweet than Fruit Loops. Kind of tastes like, um, what's that one when Mikey eat it? Uh, ke- kicks. It kind of tastes like kicks. Oh, checks. Is it checks? No, not checks. Okay. I like checks. I like you checks. Like yeah. Kicks, okay. like the 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 puffs, the, the puffs. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go in here and have a bite of this. Oh, right off the bat, like I said, it tastes like popcorn that um, you put in your mouth and let it kind of dissolve. You know, when like you let popcorn melt away instead of chewing it. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one that does that, but yeah, it's buttery popcorn, sweet. I feel like it's an unfinished cereal. Like, I feel like it's the rejected cereal shapes that they just put in a box. 
Yeah. It doesn't look know. right, right? Like it just and it kind of tastes like sugar cardboard. It tastes like nothing. It's dis- this is way more disappointing than I You know what this could be? This could have been like in a cracker jack barrel. <laughs> yeah. A cracker like buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks like buy me some peanuts and corn pops. Yeah. I mean, that's I, what it was. Cracker Jacks was really like buttered, sweetened popcorn, right? It, there's popcorn in it, I think. Cracker Jacks, right? It was like caramel. Why did I say yeah. caramel? I never say caramel. Caramel. It was caramel. I'm the caramel <laughs> say. I say caramel. I don't know why. Anyway, but I was also fooled by, by Cracker Jacks all the time. I was like, yeah, Cracker Jacks. And then I was like, ah, fuck this thing. Dude, if you um, eat it dry, if you eat this pops dry, it's like you're, you know, you're going to seven seven inning stretch, you know, in a baseball game. I hate, I didn't like it with the milk. I like it better with the, uh, by itself. So it's a snack. It's not a cereal. It's a snack. I don't like it. Oh, no, I don't like it. I, I don't like it. I, I'm going to say it wasn't good when I was a kid. It's not good now. Um, I think they really need to get rid of corn pops. Okay, Kellogg's, you can get rid of corn pops. It's okay. You can let go. It's not good. It wasn't good then. It's not good now. My vote is take off your pants and jacket episode too bad. Horrible. Really? Take uh, off your pants and jacket? Yeah, I, it's not even nostalgic to me. I hate it. No, I mean, I guess the only nostalgic part was that I liked it. Other than that, I don't think I've ever met anybody that actually liked pops. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So I, mean, I think like might have kept them alive. Why it's in the fun pack? Maybe they're just trying to get rid of cereal. I'm not really sure. It's not fun at all. It's a waste. Yeah, I didn't even have the like the. I didn't even want to go talk about it, you know. But it was, but it was in the fun pack. In the 1950s, it was introduced in 1950s as corn pops. In 1951, the name was changed to sugar corn pops, and later it was called sugar pops. <sighs> Dude, makes I, sense. I, because it's all it is is sugar. This. It is just like not good. It doesn't look good. I, I like I said. I they think it just looks like a rejected cereal, like rejected cereal shapes that never can never became anything. I don't even remember like so. There's no character to it. I don't even remember the jingles or any commercials or something to this. I'm sure there was, but okay, I don't yeah. care about it. So it was apparently the mascot. Guy Madison, the star of Adventures of Wild Bill Hickok. Oh, boy. This is what I mean. The television show appeared on the box from 1951 through 1958, occasionally replaced by sidekick Jingles, played by Andy Devine. Between 1959 and 1967, the mascot was Woody Woodpecker. The next mascot for the series was Sugar Pop Pete, a prairie dog, dressed as a cowboy with two six-shooters, because that's what you want. You want your mascot to have guns to tell you how to eat, you know, to eat your cereal. Uh, with red, white, spiral striped barrels. In 77, the mascot was Whippersnapper, a live action whipper, whip cracking cowboy. It just, they just never had a really good mascot. Let's just put it that way. The taglines are garbage. Gotta have pops, gotta have my pops. It's hard to stop when it pops. You've got to catch new corn pops. It's Popnetic, that's Canada. And then we- now from in 2009, it's Pops deliciously random wow <laughs> Dude, how... <laughs> it's still being sold though it's still being sold they don't know where it stands there's probably a set of people that still like this yeah that are still okay with eating you know cracker jacks in, a, in, a, in milk yeah. and they're okay with it so it's real garbage i didn't like it i'm moving on so did you say it was bad or nostalgic there's nothing about this. That I about. <laughs> so our next one is Apple Jacks. Now, I like Apple Jacks, or I did like Apple Jacks. I have no idea. Um, and this is the cereal that I remember I liked leaving in the milk for a little bit. Um, I thought this flavor was interesting when I was a kid. I always wanted Apple Jacks when I was a kid. I wanted my parents to buy it. So Apple Jacks is a brand of cereal. It was introduced to uh, by Kellogg's introduced to the U.S. as Apple O's in 1965 after being invented by college intern William Thilly. In 1971, the name Apple Jacks, J-A-X, was put into action by advertisers. Uh, The product is described by Kellogg's as a crunchy, sweet, and multigrain cereal with apple and cinnamon. Apple Jacks is one of the top four cereal brands marketed within stores and is most heavily marketed on Kellogg's internet platform. 
So, I mean, that's a lot. Uh, there's a lot to be said about Apple Jacks, but that's really the most important thing. Uh, just for seeing how much sugar is in this one, nine grams and includes nine added grams. So 18% of this cereal is sugar. Manny's already eating it. Manny, how are you doing over there? All right. So I don't really remember liking Apple Jacks as a kid. I like apple sugar stuff, like, but I always like the, um, you know, the, the flat square ones that had apple cinnamon sugar on it. I forget what they were called, but I like them. Uh, at first, like when you open it, you definitely smell some of them, some of that cinnamon spice spiciness that you'd get at the apple cinnamon. It's probably fake aroma coming at you. Now, the crunchiness here is perfect. Let it sit in the milk a little bit. Perfect crunch. There's I don't know why there's different colors, but it's majority orange or opaque, you know, like salmon color. And they have the little spice, little red peppers. Um, it looks like, um, on it. And then you have some of the green. So you get like a green apple taste to, to it. I don't particularly love it. It's not bad, but it's just fine for me. And it just kind of like the way I felt about it as a kid, like Apple Jacks was never really something I went for. I, um, <laughs> this is, this is bringing me back though. This is bringing me back because I, I particularly enjoyed Apple Jacks as a kid. I, I'm enjoying it right now just because it's so funny to be sitting here and eating these this cereal. I, I just I never thought I'd ever eat Apple Jacks ever again or like Fruit Loops or anything because you get to a certain part of your life, your cereal becomes like this is gonna be sound so weird to say, sometimes, you know, medicinal. You're looking at it like all right, this is good for me. I better eat this. Like, or it's like oatmeal. And no one really likes oatmeal, you know, but Apple Jacks, I kind of enjoy the taste. It's actually pretty good. It's like, there's some cinnamon in it. I don't know what the green ones are for. I'm really confused by that. Green apple. The, ima the, ima the amount of sugar in it, though, is doing a number on my mouth right now. Yeah, I mean, this is basically Fruit Loops, except there's like a little cinnamon taste to it. Like, you can put cinnamon, the whatever, and it's not really cinnamon taste. Like cinnamon doesn't taste like this, but this is apple cinnamon for cereal. You know there is cinnamon in it. Natural flavor could could contain soy, apple juice, concentrate. Oh yeah, dried apples. This they so put stuff more in here. actual fruit in this than fruit. Loops. Yes, yes, yeah, there is. Let, let's 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 reassess for a second here. We are okay. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm sitting here going like... You look like you're going through something. I'm... First of all, I didn't eat dinner. Because of this. <laughs> so this, is your... this is my dinner. Yeah. And like I said, I've been eating like crap all week. I've been just like... The fatigue of what we're going through as a yep. nation is getting to me. So just like I've thrown away all my healthy eating habits. So this is fine. <laughs> so this is so fine. I, my body has... It's not going through this new, yeah. like chasing the dragon thing, like when we were, you know, when we when we started doing the candy after I had not had so much candy yeah. like that in a while. Right, so I'm five. okay. Yeah. I know what you're going through right now. I My feel mouth you. is just like yeah. Like a whole Do you remember there. Captain Crunch? Yeah, yeah. Remember the roof of your mouth after eating Cru Captain Crunch? It was like, like destroyed. Ripped. Yeah. Why was a cereal? <laughs> Tearing the top of the roof of your mouth apart. Dude, you would eat that. First of all, Captain Crunch sucked. Whoever's out yeah. there that's telling me Captain Crunch is good, you're wrong. Because you're wrong. I'll go, I'll go have some. Yeah. And and I know there was a couple different flavors, but was there peanut Captain Crunch? So the peanut butter Captain Crunch I thought was good, but it got so soggy so quickly, and it just was like weird wet peanut butter. Like, I, it just was, a, it was weird. You had to eat it really fast. Dude, it, it, but Captain Crush, the original flavor, I don't know why I ate it all the time. Like, it wasn't good. No. I don't know what got me to eat it. Maybe the Captain, the cartoon, but, oh, yeah, it would rip up your throat, your, your roof of your mouth yeah. would never be the same for the whole day. I don't know why that would, why a cereal would be sharp, or at least. And that's even after being in milk for a long time. Yeah, like why is the why is a cereal abrasive like sandpaper and all of a sudden the roof of your mouth is just being torn to pieces? It I shouldn't don't know. happen. None it's of gross. these cereals though, I will say, 
just to put it out there, have done that to us. No, but I have to brush my teeth like four times. I will have to brush my teeth a ton. Uh, the yeah. uh, my dentist will kill me. Uh, What's a dentist? No. All right. So. <laughs> all right. Dude, I I'm uh. It's funny though. I will say this: that it is like time travel in a bowl. It is. I'm. I mean, I have to say, one of the best time traveling mechanisms that we have oh, yeah. as humans is taste. Yeah. Taste and smell. Yeah. Sight doesn't really do it for me. Feel doesn't do it for me. Taste and smell bring me back to that moment yeah. in time that I remember eating a certain thing or smelling a certain thing. Like you ever walk into someone's house and it smells like, like your grandma's house or it smells yeah. like you're like, you get that thing. So taste does that to me too. And obviously like taste and smell of a, are big, like they really help each other out. And it's like a tag team. Marty Janetti and, and no. <laughs> <laughs> the Rockers. The Rockers. Unfortunately, in their relationship, Shawn my, Michaels. Well, you the know, other one through a mirror. It's the Shawn Michaels who knocks him out. No, but like, I need to remind everybody if you're listening and you have yet to subscribe, please subscribe to the podcast, like, share, uh, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook, Twitter, uh, comment, let us know. Uh, what you would like us to test and uh, let us know if you agree with all the other tests. <laughs> it's, it's phenomenal that it does that. Yeah. And I like, not that I love these right now, but what no. I'm loving is the feeling and the thought of like where, you know, what you were doing, like you're like eating all this. Like there was yeah. a certain period of time where cereals just stopped doing that. Yeah. And I ate it just to eat it. But then I like stopped eating cereals like that it was funny like there were cereals like frosted mini wheats i always love to eat frosted mini wheats um but like what's weird is that wheaties have you ever did you eat wheaties when you were a kid i tried it it wasn't good no that's the worst one of the worst tasting cereals i think on the planet i would probably rather eat corn pops than wheaties but Wheaties, the only thing that they had was that Michael Jordan on the box, and then everyone they put everyone on the front of the box of Wheaties. But it was tasted like trash. Trash, trash. That's why they had to sell it that way. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. On another note, <laughs> this asks you to recycle the bu- paper box and then take out and store drop off the plastic bag. What? Yeah. Wow. Recycle if clean and dry. Wow. You Do you separate. remember when you just used to throw stuff out? Yeah. See, that's what's funny. Like you and I had that experience. Like recycling is new, not new, but like it, everyone's like, "Oh, it's normal recycling." But when I was a kid, it was like, "No, you threw everything in the trash, or you went to the supermarket and you put the bottles and cans yeah. or to that machine." Sure. That the was it. machine. Everything else went into garbage. Yep. Like, can you imagine throwing a soda bottle out or like a water bottle in the garbage, just like indiscriminately? Hey, man, I know people who do it, but uh, no. <laughs> so I would say let's let's. Uh, oh, I'm saying. What are you thinking about Apple Jacks? I'm going nostalgic. And the reason is because I'm not going to eat this. I'm not going out to buy Apple Jacks. It tastes pretty good, but it's it, it just I it's funny. I feel like this rating for me is a rating to keep me safe because I have to just tell myself this is nostalgic. You cannot go out and buy a But if podcast. you're not talking about you, like, I get it because this is our podcast, so we're allowed to do whatever the hell we want to do. So would I recommend Apple Jacks? Would you recommend this to, like, a child? No. Okay. <laughs> no, no, because it tastes like in craziness. Yeah, I mean, I never really liked – I wasn't a fan of Apple Jacks that much. Does, is it fine? It is. I'd much rather go with Fruit Loops over this. So really? is it nostalgic? I guess no to me because it wasn't really one of my favorites. But if we're if we're going to, I mean, I guess we should we should rate these at the end of just saying the likability of them. But yeah, yeah, Apple Jacks, it's fine. Uh, the crunch was great. It's fine. Uh, I don't know. I guess you could say it's nostalgic just because it's still cereal. I don't know. But like pop. It's still really cereal. cereal. I don't know. It's, it doesn't do much. Like yeah. I said, Apple Jacks, not really a thing for me. I'd rather eat other cinnamon crunch. Oh, like cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah. 
holy nostalgia. Yeah. Definitely love that. So wait, are we going Cocoa Krispies or Frosted Flakes? <sighs> Let's go Cocoa Krispies. Okay. Snap, crackle, Mitch and Pop. <laughs> Shout out to Mitch Hedberg. Rest in peace. Mitch Hedberg, rest in peace. All right. All right. So we're going Cocoa Krispies. Now, I don't know why they didn't put Rice Krispies in one of these fun packs. They decided to double up on the Cocoa Krispies on mine. Yeah. Why wouldn't you just why wouldn't you just do Rice Krispies? Is it just something that doesn't sell? And I understand why Rice Krispies doesn't sell cuz I used to add a lot of sugar to Rice Krispies. I don't know if you did that as a kid. Did you do that? I thought you called it White Krispies. <laughs> 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 ah, that's zero crazy. Zero flavor, zero. The, yeah, dude, Rice Krispies had zero flavor, and I always like put sugar on top of it. So it goes back to like as a kid, all you were used to is sugar. So that's why it's probably not in the fun pack because Rice Krispies itself is only good for Rice Krispie treats, which has marshmallows. I don't know why I said it that way. Which Marshmallow. has marshmallows, <laughs> marshmallows, which has marshmallows, which then adds sugar to it. So it's actually healthier to probably have Rice Krispies, which I like. But I like Rice I, Krispies. Yeah, I think I do. I don't know when last time I had them. But I do remember like pounds of sugar on top of it. So I get why uh, Cocoa Crisps is probably the better thing. Snap, crackle, Mitch, and pop. Now, first opening it, I smell cocoa. Not like Cocoa Puffs. I'm... I wish there's Cocoa Puffs was in this uh, fun pack, but it will be next test that we do food. You know, my stomach is killing me on that. Maybe we'll do a live for Cocoa Puffs. I think but, we're um, going to have to, I think, I think soon. Well, I think we'll still have to do one for the General Mills, and then all of these are going to have to become lives because I don't know how many of these I could do in person. Okay, first, first I'm going to say this. Um, not so dark, right? It's kind of like I thought it would be more cocoa looking. It's kind of like it's it's kind of boring to me right now. What was the one with the, that was it was like fruity pebbles, but cocoa pebbles? Yeah, cocoa pebbles. cocoa pebbles was dark, was crazy. dark brown. Now I don't know about yours. Maybe I got a bad pack, but like. It doesn't look like the picture at all. Look look how light this is. Yeah. Look at no, this. here. Look. Is yours dark? Let me get a bigger oh, one. This is great for radio audiences. It's lacking the cocoa color. It smells very chocolatey. It smells uh, extremely chocolatey. Yeah. But the problem definitely... with Rice Krispies though is that it it, it gets really soggy very quickly. Yes, but you have to eat this eat, fast. As you're eating that, I'm going to give some facts to Cocoa Krispies. Snap, crackle, and popping is what's Pop happening. Up. Cocoa Krispies, Cocoa Crisps, Cocoa Crispy, Choco Krispies, Cocoa Pops, or Choco Pops. It's a breakfast cereal produced by Kellogg's, coming both as a box cereal and as a snack bar with a dried milk-covered bottom. It is a cocoa-flavored version of Rice Krispies that contains real chocolate. The cereal was introduced in the United States in 1958. In 2003, the cereal was renamed Cocoa Rice Krispies as Kellogg's endeavored to unite their Rice Krispies variations under a single marketing schema. In 2006, the name was changed back to Cocoa Krispies. Kellogg's has released variations of Cocoa Krispies such as Cocoa Krispies cereal straws. Wow. Cocoa Krispies Choconilla and Chocos, whatever the hell that is. Now, the thing is this, this is another cereal with a gigantic history of mascots. There was a lot of issues with stereotypes, racism, and prejudice uh, when it came to Rice Krispies with the mascots. Uh, Cocoa Krispies first appeared in the United States in 1958, represented by a monkey named Jose. He was reportedly replaced by Coco the Elephant in 1960 when Mexico-Americans complained about the ethnic stereotype. In 1963, the Hanna-Barbera character Snagglepuss took over as a mascot. Og the Caveman took over towards the end of 1967. By the end of 1973, Tusky the Elephant became the mascot. He Then Snap, Crackle, and Pop became the mascots around the end of 1982. Then in 1991, these morons went back to a monkey because I guess it wasn't racist enough to do it in 1958. 
Um, and in 2001, Snap, Crackle, and Pop returned, and they have remained the product's mascots to date. So that's a little bit of that history. Manny. Snap, Crackle, and Pop. What are they, elves or something? Yeah, I think they're elves or... I don't know what... Serial elves? I don't know what they are, but they have long ears. Yeah. Anyways, so... As you were talking, I finished the whole box. <laughs> <clears throat> I clearly didn't mind it. Um, definitely has more chocolate flavor than I thought it was going to by looking at the color. Love The best part about the cereal is letting the milk soak up the chocolate. And then at the end of eating it, everything, you have chocolate milk to drink, in my opinion. Now, does it really taste like chocolate? I guess it's it's just chocolate flavor, right? It's like having Yoohoo. What's funny about Cocoa Krispies, and maybe for like also non-organic, non-gluten-free Rice Krispies that I eat now, like gluten-free Rice Krispies or whatever, they really keep their crunch. And I guess because of whatever sugar chocolate is around it, keeping it safe from milk, mm-hmm. it is very chocolatey, much more chocolatey than than what it looks like. And I do love that chocolate milk thing, and it's already happening. Do you remember Coke, uh, Cookie Crisps? Do I remember Cookie Crisps? <laughs> First of all, Cookie Crisps were nothing but not a cookie. They were there was not a there was not cookie. Like a real Cookie Crisp is the Chips Ahoy to go cup, and you pour milk in it. That's a Cookie Crisp. But Cookie Crisps were this like fake chocolate. I mean, it was amazingly chocolate. But there was nothing cookie about cookie crisps. No. So I'm looking at the milk and it's turning into chocolate milk. That's what I love this cereal for. And But I remember the cookie crisp cereal and it turned the milk into like chocolate, but it tasted like cookies, like chocolate chip oh. cookies. It was crazy. That was like one of the most insane things for cookie crisps. And that definitely was not should not be a breakfast cereal at all. That Whatever way. you ate, th- those like pieces of cookies that they said they were would like congeal together. Like there was <laughs> like you would have a rock in your stomach after yeah. eating cookies for crisp. Like yeah. that stuff was not digestible. No. Like it no. was like having plastic in your stomach. Yeah. It definitely was. It tasted it had a weird texture to it. Oh yeah. I don't even do they even make that anymore? Uh, probably. They had a mascot. They had two mascots. Yeah, yeah. They were. It was weird that they were like criminals or something. Yes, they were. <laughs> they were They're criminals. Just, I don't know why the fuck they were. That makes no sense. It's like why they used to there? steal the cookie crisps. Oh, there's a lot of mascots stealing <laughs> cereal from kids and stuff in these like commercials. Yeah, remember tricks? That's right. Tricks are that for kids. Rabbit, this is the rabbit. The Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. The Leprechaun. The Cookie Crisp people. A lot of like crime involved. In Lucky this Charms thing. was another one that was just like those those marshmallows, man. Holy cow. It also reminded me of the Ghostbusters um, cereal. So Lucky Charms is in that other fun pack along with Cocoa Puffs, Cheerios, and Honey Nut Cheerios. Do you remember Honeycomb? I, I hated Honeycomb. Oh, that's, what was that? That's like, that was like corn puffs with honey yeah. on them. Corn puffs, honeycomb, and and honey smacks. Oh, all terrible ter- cereals. All terrible cereals. They were terrible. Cheerios was pretty ter- terrible too because Cheerios is like regular Cheerios is like the healthier snack of Cheerios. I mean, yeah. of cereal. Did you like as a kid like put fruit in your cereal? Because I always had yes. like my parents are like, all right, if you're gonna eat bananas. garbage, bananas. So we're gonna put a banana bananas. in your cereal. Yeah. Sometimes good. strawberries, but bananas was like the main thing in my in my cereal. Yeah. That's yeah. so interesting. Yeah, because well, I guess I... it was like the healthier option. Yeah, because what else are you gonna put in it? Sugar. Sure. That's it. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm kind of enjoying the cook the the cocoa crispies. I enjoyed it. I have, to, I have to say I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I think I thought I was gonna hate it. I thought uh, cocoa Pebb- pebbles was better, um, but that's a whole other feeling and sogginess of like you, there's no crunch left in the cocoa pebbles at all. Where this had like more like the crunchiness and the chocolate milk, which was great. 
Yeah, I like that it stayed crunchy. Of course, I didn't eat the whole box, but I did. Um, <laughs> I'm going to admit that I finished every single box except Pop so far. Okay, okay, yeah, I, I couldn't even bring myself to eat any more of the pops if I wanted to, but um, I may finish it by the end of the night because I haven't had dinner. Don't, dude. No, I'm not going to. I'm just kidding. I have to go to sleep. Uh, so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Coco Krispies passes the nostalgia test because I would tell someone to eat that. Really? Yeah, I I think it's. <clears throat> I, I think it's a good. Bad. I don't think it's a good cereal for like morning. Holy shit! There's a lot of sugar in this. I know. I think it's a good like dessert. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like who eats cereal as a dessert, but this could be a dessert. These are all desserts. Yeah. None of this is breakfast. None of this is morning breakfast cereal. I'm saying it passes. That's my that would be my take wow. on the Cocoa Krispies. What do you got? I'm not gonna say it passes. I think it's definitely nostalgic. I think out of uh, out of all of them, they were probably the most delicious one, I guess yeah. I wanna say. It's the most likable. Yeah. Uh Fruit Loops was close. I like Fruit Loops uh, Toucan, uh, but, you know, can't beat Snap, Crackle, and Mitch and Pop. You know? <laughs> yeah, right? You can't. Hollywood's all you, uh, uh, who you know, and I know Crackle. <laughs> all right, now. So, guys, if you like um, Nostalgia Test Podcast, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, subscribe and like. like Follow us on all social media outlets that you can find us and where you can get podcasts. Podbeam. Spotify, I <laughs> Apple. <laughs> Next, Woo. Dan, go for we're it. Moving on to uh, one of the well-known mascots, Tony the Tiger, representing Frosted Flakes. Is it Tony the Tiger? Yeah, dude. This doesn't smell like it. <laughs> Did you smell this? <laughs> oh, oh, that brings me back. Holy nostalgia. But it doesn't smell sweet. It... Oh, that brings me back it there. It smells so weird. Oh, it smells it smells like frosted flakes, baby, because they're oh. great. This is this is and this has less sugar than the cocoa pot. The, but the, it still the has cocoa. a ton of sugar in it. Well, dude, it's frosted flakes. So the Kellogg's flakes, which were like the healthy brand. Needed to add something <laughs> to it. <laughs> Kellogg flakes, right? I think that's what they're called. I don't know what they were called. They were called they were called like cornflakes. Did corn you ever flakes. have that? Regular corn that was flakes. that was when you put like strawberry and banana in. Because yeah, like, who just has regular? Like, if you just had regular cornflakes, like you should be smacked. Yeah, I, as a kid, like you were you were tortured. I don't like that. Was, that was like what was in your cupboard. I oh. <laughs> I always liked Frosted Flakes as a kid, and I feel like my parents... It's funny. My parents were like... When I think of, like, the cereals I had, like, this is one that they, like, didn't want to have a lot, but I ate Apple Jacks all the time. I'm like, guys, like, what's the difference at this point? Like... Did they ever even try Apple Jacks? Maybe they didn't. Oh, my dad probably ate. My dad eats everything. (laughs) (laughs) He'll eat Apple Jacks now. I swear to God, if I said that, I eat Apple Jacks. Okay. But I, I feel like Frosted Flakes was a cereal that my parents were very weary of. They'd be like, no, it's too sweet. You shouldn't be eating it. And, you know, have if you're going to eat Frosted Flakes, this is what I remember. You oh, you have to cut a banana in it if you're going to eat this. And that was like the thing. Like, oh, man, he almost shot out of his seat. He just took a first bite. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, this is going up on YouTube, but you just did. No, 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 dude. That was a, first of all. This is crazy that it, that this has less sugar than the cocoa crisp, but just one spoonful wasn't even a full spoonful. I just had a adrenaline shot of sugar to my freaking brain. Okay, dude. let's try this out. This was the sweetest thing I've had in all of this. Oh my yeah. god, it's all it's pure. Whoa, that classic Frosted Flakes taste, man. Just a blast of sugar, and then just it's you're left with corn flakes. Yeah, like man. immediately. 
And if you don't eat it fast enough, the sugar just melts right off and goes right into the milk. And then you're just having cornflakes. Yeah, I think that's how they've sold more cornflakes. They put this fucking tiger on the box and then they just said, throw some piece of shit sugar on this. It's just going to melt. It doesn't matter. And then we're selling more cornflakes. Oh, man, that's so weird. Dude, if all, all you're having is sweet milk with cornflakes. Now, I got to say, my uncle in the Azores used to eat cornflakes in his coffee. He used to pour it in his coffee. Wow. I tried that recently with Honey Nut Cheerios. Yeah. It's fantastic. That it was great. Was awesome. Yeah. I um. Give me some facts on this guy. Yeah. Wow. This is just pure sugar. <laughs> Before we go to that, I now remember just eating this. Me and my cousin, we come over to sleep over and we would make milkshakes with cereal in it. And frost and frosted flakes was one of them. Vanilla bean milkshake, pour some cereal in it. Freaking jolt of sugar. Amazing. Like you didn't blend. Did you blend the cereal or you just yeah. you made the milkshake? Oh, wow. No, no, blend it. Put some fruity pebbles in there too. Whew. Oh my God. Dude, the things that we were able to do with food or people let us do when we were kids with food, like it was just ridiculous. Now, hopefully, I don't know if people know better because this is all still on the market, but, um, Wow. But yeah, let me get, uh, let me shoot you some facts on this uh, while you house that bowl of cereal. Uh, Frosted Flakes or Frosties is a breakfast cereal produced by the Kellogg Company and consisting of sugar coated corn flakes. It was introduced in the United States in 1952 as Sugar Frosted Flakes. The word sugar was dropped from the name in 1983. Holy shit. So that long had the word sugar on it. Generic versions such as store brands are also available, unlike many cereals, Cheerios, Shreddies, Rice Krispies, for example. The name Frosted Flakes is too generic to be trademarked, and thus it often shares its name with competitors. Oh, that's so crazy. Wow. So they can't, they can't trademark the name Frosted Flakes because it's too generic. That's interesting. But they can trademark <laughs> the symbol. The Tony the Tiger. Yeah. 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 Dude, I would say it's gotten worse as we're letting it soak in. Like, there's, it's not that enjoyable. Like, the sugar sitting in that milk, I don't know. I didn't like it. I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna get a better, a better reaction to this. Remember when we did the candy bars and some of the candy bars that we were doing, we thought we'd have, we'd enjoy. Yeah. And then we did it. <clears throat> sure. So five. Um, <laughs> shameless plug I need to remind everybody if you're listening and you have yet to subscribe please subscribe to the podcast like share uh, follow us on instagram and on facebook twitter uh comment let us know uh what you would like us to test and uh let us know if you agree with all the other tests frosted flakes i feel like is letting me down and uh, that when i passed the cocoa krispies i kind of feel good about that because I feel like Cocoa Krispies is better than Frosted Flakes now. So, I have a headache. (laughs) (laughs) So, I have a headache. Um, I agree. I thought I was going to... I said to leave Frosted Flakes to the very last because I thought, I recalled that this was one of my favorite cereals growing up. Uh, yeah it was only good at the first bite yes Mm -hmm. in a way of like yeah my face was like holy shit so much sugar but it was still crunchy and there was still sugar on the flakes themselves yeah and you weren't just drinking basically like like thai concentrated milk yeah like that you know it was it's just too much sugar can you believe? Can you imagine? I don't imagine eating eating frosted flakes and then like first thing in the morning, be like, "All right, I'm ready to take on the day." No, I'd be asleep by first period, <laughs> which we all were anyway. Yeah, like home, like what is it? Homeroom. That's it. That's second period, yeah. or in, in between second, first and second. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and and you had more than this. This was this is a to go. I mean, this is a fun pack. This is only 34 grams. Like you'd basically. You definitely had a bigger bowl than this. Yeah. 
Like I have a small bowl right now. Yeah, I have a bowl, a regular bowl that I eat cereal out of. And yeah. The amount I put in there wouldn't even fill like what? Like it's like maybe a quarter of the bowl. Yeah, dude. My heart is pounding right now. I feel like I might have a heart attack on this podcast. <laughs> if you see me pass out, call my <laughs> <laughs> the LA nine one one. Yeah, patch me into New York. Uh, you got cold. My phone's uh, dying though. Dude. Uh, see, this is this is what happens. This is what when happens. we have a five a five food. It's, this is why. I have said no more food because this is what happens to us. Like we have to cut it off at four if there's gonna be sugar involved. Probably the chips, three. It probably the be chips were fine. The chips were fine because there was like more salt than anything. Yeah. But like yeah, maybe three next time. This is oh I'm dying. I'm dying. And no one told you to eat all of it though. Then I didn't have dinner. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh Steve, if you like fighting this is the episode then all right let's let's so at lithology do you have any headache. sweet beers like this or no um which one of your beers goes good with frost <laughs> <laughs> no i mean no no we have we have one called sweet sins and it's a uh, maple maple and uh cinnamon amber ale oh wow uh which is pretty sweet and we usually put like a, a cinnamon rim around it. Oh. Um, otherwise known as a rim job. This episode is sponsored by Lithology Brewing Company at Farmingdale, New York. It's a nano brewery. Come down on uh, <laughs> ingredients. Sixty percent New York ingredients. <laughs> Any point. I'm get. It's like I feel like I'm getting hot now. Um, it's like my body temperature is rising. Yeah, I'm not. I didn't like the last one. That killed me. I put me over the edge. So uh, I'll rate it as like it's nostalgic, as in like Tony the Tiger. They're great. Um, <laughs> they're not great. No. Go fuck yourself, Tony the Tiger. Um, so yeah, I'm not putting it past them. It didn't pass the test. No, I don't think it passed either. Um, for me, really, the only one for me that passes Cocoa Krispies, and I think it passed. That's like, a surprise. On the edge of its, yeah. I thought it was gonna be the Apple Jacks, but like, I guess not. Dude, I'm telling you, this was a this was not one of my picks. Yeah. Right. Me neither. But I will say, in order of ranking, right now. Yeah. Okay. Cocoa Crisps, Fruit Loops. I'm gonna say Apple Jacks, Frosted Flakes, Pops. So I'm gonna say, Cocoa Krispies, Apple Jacks, Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, Corn Pops. Yeah, man, I can't believe Frosted Flakes fell back so far. I'm disappointed, and it's not Me? that they're bad. See, like I thought Corn Pops were just terrible, and that's why it's at the bottom. But Frosted Flakes, not a strong, not a strong showing for Frosted Flakes. No, um, and I don't think. I mean. I don't know if you if anyone out there disagrees with us uh, when this episode airs. Um, definitely, we'd love to hear your opinion. You know, on Facebook and Instagram at the Nostalgia Test or Twitter at Nostalgia Test. Uh, but I think you're wrong. I don't think you've eaten Frosted Flakes in a while. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're doing. No this. matter what you, no matter what you say, you're wrong. But I would like to uh, have people rate them because yeah. First of all, um, as I'm looking at this, um, three of the boxes were 100 calories. One of the boxes is 120 calories. And the box that we find the best is 150 calories. <laughs> that I had, is the worst one for you. And I've had every single one <clears throat> except for the pops. Oh, dude. I, I don't. My mouth, everything's like my throat is closing up. Again, dude. What was it that you're allergic to that you shouldn't be eating? Uh, uh, peanuts and soy. <laughs> Definitely all of that in there. I think there's soy in that. It says there could be soy. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this, the, the energy level of the Nostalgia Test Podcast serial episode is about to crash because this is what happens with unhealthy cereal. So. Yeah.
Yeah, eat something healthy, people. We're going to, I mean, I can't say that it's not going to happen again because we have to put the other ones to the test. So we're going to have to put it's going to at least happen one more time, the cereal one. Yeah. We got to <sighs> face it out, though. I think the next time we do this one, I would like to have a guest on and they need to share in our misery. Dude, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm a lo- at a loss of words right now. Okay. You know what I was thinking, which would be terrible and we probably shouldn't do it, like powdered iced tea mixes. <laughs> <laughs> like crystal light yeah like lipton oh, i and that fucking crap. hate crystal light you know this special dave like water bottle iced tea water bottle no 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 i know what you're talking about and that was crystal light like the <laughs> residents only like crystal light and i fucking hated crystal light because it had that fake yeah. sugar in it yeah lipton all that i actually wanted to do like the soft drinks like sunny delight is Sunny Delight a soft drink? Uh, Sunny Delight is definitely not an orange drink. <laughs> oh, like I th- I was doing well at the beginning of this episode. <laughs> I'm dying right now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is like showing me my age. Jesus, that's yeah. why you stop eating cereal at a certain age. Maybe this is all the damage you did to ourselves when we were in our twenties, and now we can't eat cereal. <laughs> No, and I even put it in almond milk. It's still messed up. <laughs> it's terrible. There's not nobody should be eating this. Fuck this, man. As I'm just gonna group, say it no right now. It. I'm gonna say this right now. This is all just nostalgic. Do not buy any of this shit. Okay. And you know what, <laughs> Mr. Dissinger, if you're listening, yeah, we curse. <laughs> We're from New York. If yeah. <laughs> Take Though, that. if you're going to try anything, maybe the Cocoa Krispies, but it's not a full bowl. Fuck that. No, oh, Dan, God. stop it. Stop promoting that. Yeah. All right, I'm guys. Take my grade back. But I'm, I'm going to leave it. I don't care. Um, this episode guys. has been brought to you by Lethology Brewing Company out of Farmingdale, New York, right on Main Street. 60% New York ingredients. Open six days a week. Go at lethologybrewing.com to check out our hour. Thanks everyone for showing up, like coming to this, like coming to this episode. Hey everybody, Woo! edit, it's, edit, it's edit. Over, <laughs> it's over. All right, thanks for listening. The cereal is getting to us now. It's over. The fact that cereal is doing this to us is just show you do not eat anything that um, comes in a little box like that. Or no, um, it's not fun. Nothing's a fun pack. No, this is not a pack of fun at all. Uh, but anyway. Definitely follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Nostalgia Test, on Twitter at Nostalgia Test. Visit the website, thenostalgiatest.com, and join the mailing list. Suggest the test. Leave, comment, subscribe, like the podcast. You know, it doesn't take that much. You just go down there, click that like, go to our YouTube page. You'll see the link in the, on the website and watch clips, watch our IG lives. They're all up there. Um, and you know, if you have an idea as well, or you want to reach out to us, you can email us at the nostalgia test at gmail.com. Manny. Thanks again, everybody. Yeah. See you at the next test. Thanks for listening to today's episode. Please subscribe to the nostalgia test podcast to know when new episodes drop. Don't forget to leave us five stars and a positive review. So more people can find the podcast, share your thoughts and memories on today's topic on our Twitter at nostalgia test and on Instagram at the nostalgia test tune in next time because you never know what pop culture will pop up on the nostalgia test